everybody. So my name is Katherine Campbell with Better Together Fitness and today um, your workout is going to be some booty work. We're going to work on our lower body and specifically those booties and so we're going to need a chair or something to step up on. Um, so if you want to pause real quick and go grab something or move yourself um, so that you can get something to step up on um, if you want to do that and uh, that'll be all you're going to need today. So the first thing we're going to do is actually a jump squat. So I'm gonna move my chair out of the way for just a second. We're gonna get started um, with a jump squat this morning. If you have not warmed up, then you might wanna just do these regular squats and get yourself warmed up, or take a minute, do a, some light jumping jacks, take a little walk, get yourself warmed up, because jump squats are definitely kinda of hard to start out on if you have not warmed up. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Same um, form as with a regular squat. We don't want our knees going over our toes. So uh, be careful with that. Make sure you're holding your abs in, supporting your back. The lower you go in your squat, the more it is a booty exercise and not a quad exercise. So sink down as low as you can. If jump squats are a little advanced for you, then just do regular squats. But you can add arms in there to get your cardio up a little bit, your heart rate. But if you're ready, go ahead and add that hop in there, that jump in there. Get those heart rates going. Excellent. All right, so our first exercise with our chair. We're gonna do a step up with the right side and we're gonna kick back with the left. So you're gonna step up, kick back. Stay on the same foot. We'll do the other side in a minute. So push through that heel, push yourself up. You can always grab a weight and hold it make this more challenging. Push through that heel when you step up onto your chair. Squeeze in that lift in the back. Good job. All right, so we're gonna go into some butt kicks for a little cardio. Still focusing on that booty though. Get your breath back a second. All right, so we wanna bring those heels up to that booty. If this is a little advanced, then simply take the hop out, use up your arms, and bring those heels up. If you're ready, and bring those heels all the way up. Have that jump in there. Let's get our heart rates up. Burn that fat right off our bodies. Good job. Keep going. Good job. Grab some water if you need it. Back to that chair. We're gonna step up this time with our left foot. Get back with our right. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Keep good form. Push yourself up, weight in your heel. Squeeze that booty at the top. got this. I'm so proud of you. Working hard. Lifting that booty up this morning or this afternoon whenever you're doing the workout. Awesome. All right, we're going to go right back into those jump squats. 
I need to get my breath back. Whew. Here we go. Down and up. Give yourself a goal. Try to do 10 and then stop and take a break. If you need to, come on. 10, stop, take a break, check it out, get right back into it. You just want to work as hard as you can for 45 seconds. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, 10 seconds, come on. You got this. Keep going. It's hard, I know it hurts. Hurts so good. Doing something good for your body. Good job. All right. Oh, so get that chair back. This is going to be an elevated bridge. So your heels are going to go up on your chair. And then you're going to lift your honey off the ground. Again, you want to pull through your heels. Push through your heels as you go up. Squeeze. Barely tap the floor at the bottom. And go right back up. Breathe. Support your abs. Keep good form. Oh, I feel it. I hope you do too. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Sure, that looked very ladylike. All right, I believe we're gonna go right back into those butt kicks again. Do whatever level you need to do for you. This is your level. Awesome, really give it all you got. But if this is your level, awesome, you give it all you got. You got this. So it's 45 seconds of hard work. 15 seconds of rest. So you want to give it all you got for those 45 seconds. 10 exercises, so one round is 10 minutes. So if that's all you got time for that day, that's great. If you got the time, then go. Try to get three rounds in. That'll be a good solid 30 minute workout. Okay. Back to our step. Up, but this time we're gonna step up. Let me see how the best way for you to see it is. We're gonna step up on the side, okay? So we're gonna step up the side and then lift up. Step up from the side, it just changes it a little bit, makes it a little bit more a different side of your glute. Again, you can hold a weight. If you want to make it more challenging, push through your heel as you go up. Squeeze when you do that leg lift. You feel a little bit in your obliques right here also. Awesome. Put that out of the way for one last round of cardio with jump squats. So, Two more minutes and you got this. One round one will be done. Talking about doing different rounds or having time. Do a round in the morning and then do a round in the evening. Two 10 minute segments you can pull out to take care of yourself. That's awesome. If time is an issue and finding 20, 30 minutes um, all together is hard. Do a round in the morning. I love to work out in the morning and get my metabolism going for the day. That means I'm burning more calories all day long. I love that. So get up, do 10 minutes before you get in the shower, have your day, come home, do 10 minutes while you're waiting for your dinner to cook, and you're done. You got 20 minutes of good workout. And all right. So, 
The last exercise, I'm gonna switch this way. Step up and raise. Do that other side. I'm stepping up with my right this time. And kicking with my left. Push through that heel. Squeeze at the top. Go ahead and get that little oblique crunch in there while you're doing it. And there you go. Wow, the nice thing about having a chair is you can sit down at the end. That was a great workout. Round one was done. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Activity I'm, completed. I'm so glad that you've chosen to work out with me. It is better together. It's nice to hear somebody else breathing hard and struggling through some exercises sometime. So thank you so much uh, for working out with me. It's a pleasure. Again, my name is Katherine Campbell with Better Together Fitness. Please, if you like the video, like it if you have any questions or comments let me know how many rounds you do um, when you like to work out best anything leave me a comment i try to respond to everybody um, hope you have a great day and god bless